about to feel the true effects of late fall as Super Typhoon Nuri, a storm even stronger than Superstorm Sandy. We've got the strongest storm on the planet right now approaching the Aleutian Islands. Well, I'm playing uh, Russian roulette. And at the same time, we're worried that this thing is going to change directions and come at us. And then what do you do? Developing right now early winter in much of America this weekend. They're digging out from record snow across the south, while in the northeast, we're in for some frigid cold and heavy snow in some spots. It looks like a scene from the middle of January, but now this is the beginning of November. Wet, heavy snow came a little earlier than usual. And also a snowy side for parts of the southeast. Record early snow. The previous record set more than 100 years ago. I looked up and I just saw this, this bright light that looked kind of like a comet. It was moving so slowly and it was so bright that I immediately knew it's not a firework, it's something else. With the naked eye, you could see fragments coming off the back of it like it was something burning up. in southeastern France are on high alert after gale force winds and heavy rain pounded the region. The Ardèche was hardest hit as rivers burst their banks and more than 6,000 homes were left without electricity. After flash floods in Italy hit Tuscany, Liguria and Venice, Rome is now on red alert. The region's agricultural association said that the deluge had destroyed many orchards and vineyards and lambs were drowned. The sector has already been hit hard by the Russian embargo on EU foodstuffs and low prices. Bad weather has already cost farmers 1 billion euros this year. Argentina's Buenos Aires province have turned these streets into rivers. The fast-moving waters even buried a section of highway about 70 miles from the country's capital. The flood shut down 150 schools in the area. Authorities reported that over 5,000 people across 23 districts had been evacuated. at least 150 reports of a bright fireball zipping across the horizon from Houston to Dallas and down to San Antonio. Feeding frenzy off the coast of Perth.
perth huge tiger sharks and great whites all attacking the carcass of the 10 meter humpback whale the second in a week in a suspected sinkhole in Florida. The giant hole in the ground appeared in a driveway in Tampa, leading to the evacuation of six families in nearby homes on Monday. Just when authorities outside Tampa were thinking this 10-foot wide sinkhole had stopped growing, another one, five feet wide, opened up at a home next door. And they say it's possible they could see a third. the country are wondering if this winter could be just as brutal as last year's. Much of the nation's midsection is already frozen. In the Twin Cities, vehicles stranded, a semi-truck jackknifed off a highway. Police reporting hundreds of accidents statewide. Already this year, more than a foot of snow has fallen in multiple cities six weeks before the official start of winter. Highways became sheets of ice in Omaha. This storm dropped almost 25 inches of snow in parts of Michigan, more than 16 in Minnesota, and 18 in Wisconsin. Eight cities set low records today. Minus 14 this morning in Butte, Montana. 25 below in Casper, Wyoming. A day and a half ago, it was like 66 degrees, and within like 30 minutes, it was like 30. I don't think anybody was prepared for that sudden of a change. 13.2 inches of snow in St. Cloud, Minnesota, easily beat the old record of 12 inches, set more than 100 years ago. This scene in North Belfast was typical of many other places. Sandbags didn't provide much defense against the sheer volume of water. This area has been flooded before, back in 2009, the year before that, and in 2003 as well. invasion clobbering the country from Missouri to Indiana even New Mexico frigid temperatures creating slick roads with dangerous driving conditions the city reporting so many accidents they ran out of ambulances in McLean Texas temperatures so low parts of Interstate 40 frozen solid on the banks of Lake Superior in Ashland Wisconsin ice is already forming weeks ahead of schedule in France have claimed at least five lives as river levels rose rapidly in the southern Languedoc-Roussillon region near Nîmes. Separately in the southeast, two other people died after their cars were caught in raging flood water. Italy, where extreme weather's taken a heavy toll for weeks. The north is the latest region to suffer, with at least six people killed in recent days as floods and landslides wreak havoc. A major search was launched near Genoa after a man was reported missing, his car swept away by a torrent. A body was later found. 
Up against the elements, local people are doing what they can, but more heavy rain is forecast. Landslides have killed at least three people along the Swiss-Italian border. The region of Ticino has been battered by weeks of torrential rain, which worsened when Lake Lugano broke its banks and Lake Maggiore threatened to do the same. Genoa, located in the foothills of the Alps, received 139 millimetres of rain on Saturday alone. The latest casualties mean a total of 11 people have died as a result of floods in Italy in the last month. While the rain subsided on Sunday, the Swiss government warned that more downpours were expected on Monday and Tuesday on both sides of the border, up to 100 millimetres in some areas. Italian authorities have declared a state of emergency in Sardinia after a cyclone struck the Mediterranean island. At least 16 people are known to have died and hundreds have been moved from their homes after winds of up to 125 kilometers an hour and sheets of rain brought devastation. In the northeastern town of Olbia, the mayor said sudden flooding had burst like a bomb. The skies dumped as much rain in an hour as falls on Milan in six months, he said. Elsewhere, cars were swept away, homes were flooded and bridges collapsed as rivers burst their banks. The storm has been described as the worst for decades. of every state in the union will have temperatures below freezing. Record-setting cold is quickly sweeping the nation. Treacherous, ice-covered roads led to deadly crashes in Minneapolis and Indianapolis. At least six people killed this weekend. Dozens of spin-outs and trucks off the road in Oklahoma. In the south, 100 mile per hour winds and tornadoes tore through central Georgia, and an EF2 tornado hit the Florida this Panhandle. This is the J.N. Phillips Barge. And right now, it's working its way through an unusual amount of ice in the Mississippi River. This is a little earlier than usual for this much ice on the Feels river. Feels like four below in Kansas City. There's a wind chill advisory that includes Orlando, Florida. Record snow and whipping winds plunging much of the country into a virtual whiteout. 50% of the country blanketed in snow. To put it in perspective, on the average Christmas day, usually only 33% of the states are covered. Conditions just as treacherous in Mercer County, Pennsylvania. Their first snow of the season, triggering 76 accidents on Monday alone. This Minnesota lake turned to solid ice, a rare pre-Thanksgiving deep freeze. Western New York, we are measuring the snow in feet. Six feet of snow in in some areas, most of that falling in just a 24 hour period. The snow coming down at a rate of four inches every hour. Time lapse footage showing a wall of snow moving in off Lake Erie. It's called lake effect snow and it's having some effect. This is a once in a lifetime thing. This is something people are gonna tell their grandkids and their great grandkids about. They shouldn't be in these shallow waters. It's very rare for them to be in this part of the country. 
on Ebola, the latest figures from the World Health Organization report a total of 15,145 cases and 5,420 deaths. Family members watch loved ones who died of Ebola taken away in plastic bags, and cemeteries are being expanded to accommodate the vast number of bodies. You've got people who are deceased and that they're taken from their family by people dressed from head to toe in plastic suits. They're indistinguishable. It's a very scary situation. Quake has struck a mountainous area near Nagano City, 231 kilometers from Tokyo. The quake registered at a magnitude of 3 people were struck by lightning from a total of 3,000 recorded lightning strikes across the greater Sydney region. Floods triggered by torrential rain have killed at least 32 people in southern Morocco. Most victims were swept away by swollen rivers, which also submerged cars, buildings and roads. The storms of recent days have been described as the worst in decades. Passengers in Siberia had to literally push their plane onto the runway. It was 61 degrees below zero. It was so cold that the plane's tires froze to the runway. Months worth of rain fell in just half an hour, flooding the streets and destroying cars. The winds were so powerful, dozens of light planes at an airfield were tossed around like toys. Up to 90,000 homes were left without power. This, the worst storm to hit Queensland's capital in decades. Residents say they were given little or no warning of the approaching storm. Makers in the popular Spanish resort of Terremolinos ran for cover as a tornado wreaked havoc across areas of the Costa del Sol. The twister wrecked beach bars, uprooted trees and scattered furniture across streets and beaches.
Days of winter storms inundate the Gaza Strip. The situation is very bad. Everyone has had to leave because of heavy rains. The flooding complicates matters for the tens of thousands of Palestinians already living in temporary shelters or among rubble. Reconstruction still hasn't begun three months after the war with Israel left large swathes of Gaza in ruin. been rescued after falling into a three metre sinkhole which opened up beneath her feet while she was hanging the washing.